What's up guys, Carolyn Castillo, welcome to my car. So I'm taking you on a field trip today because I am starting a new venture, which is um, networking with probate attorneys in my brand new area where I moved about a year ago to, um, to Jacksonville, Florida. I work in Jacksonville, St. Augustine, Duval, St. John's County. Um, so I am going on an initiative to get outside and meet um, active probate attorneys. So these are probate attorneys that are actually filing probates. Um, and I basically had this information from my lead source when I cold call uh, personal representatives, it has there the attorneys. So I just went through and looked, you know, who's doing business in this area. And I'm gonna go out and introduce myself and let them know that my service is available. And if it's, um, they have somebody, I would love to help them. And these little guys, okay, are coming with me. You like that? This is like a little tin can from a dollar store. I put one of my business cards here and some cute little candies and these little guys. And I also, which believe it or not, was actually not easy, this route, okay? Um, I, I used to be so easy to do like a route, I remember, but it was very hard for me to find this. So I, if you need to know how to route like a bunch of addresses, let me know and I'll send you the website. But I'm actually at the first door, so wish me luck. <laughs> and uh, when I get back in, I will let you know how it turned out. I have 12 of these to do and this is number one. So see you. I'm going to come back in the car and tell you what happened. All right. Talk to you soon. Okay, guys, so, oh my gosh, I feel like, um, nervous or a butterfly, I don't know, it's so funny, and I'm not, I don't get, I don't, I don't get nervous at all, but, <laughs> I don't know, um, I forgot to mention this part, um, the first office that I was walking into, so I actually emailed all these attorneys first, and I have called them, okay, and uh and so now i'm walking in well i could be when i hung up my phone i looked into this attorney and the notes that i had written and they had actually um the notes that i had written down that i had spoken with her assistant that oh my god i i spoke with her assistant and the assistant told me she would not be interested the lawyer would not be interested in anything that i have to say she would not need my services and she doesn't do probate. And I'm like, okay, well, thank you so much for taking my call, you know? <laughs> so then when I walked in, um, I was like, gosh, I'm like walking in this lady's and be like, didn't I talk to you on the phone? But she didn't. I walked in with my cute little thing of candy. I said, happy Halloween. So that's nice because it's a uh, festive time. And, um, and then I was like, oh, is, you know, so-and-so in? I just wanted to give her my information real quick. She's like, oh, she's preparing for a trial. I'm sure she's not available. And I was like, okay, no problem. So I had my little flyer out ready to give her, you know, to hand her my information. And then, um, and then the attorney came out. And the attorney was like, we had a nice conversation for, you know, like five minutes. And she actually maybe has somebody for me right now that um that actually needs to sell their property and they were thinking about a cash offer so she said that she would um send you know my information to them so look at that guys the first one and look at that it got me so it got me so excited so i'm happy that the first one was uh nice i am mentally preparing myself for you know anything right but it was it was a good encounter so on to the next one let's see Okay guys, door number two, and it was in downtown Jacksonville, which I don't know if you can see the big buildings. Very beautiful, very pretty. It was a huge mission because I had to find parking, I had to parallel park my, you know, you know, mini freaking super bus here and go this whole commotion. Then I had to get to the building. When I got to the building, you couldn't go up the elevator unless you had uh, you know, a card. So just at the right time, somebody walks up, I play cool, and they let me up the elevator. I go up the elevator, and then, um, and then I go up the elevator, I get to the door, 
and there's it's it's you can only get in unless you had one of those cards the cool thing was is that that office it was right next to the um like inside that suite it was next to the um jacksonville sheriff's office like you know like the business office which seemed like a high security thing that i kind of got my way halfway up but it was a no-go guys when i got to the door so then i went all the way back down and i was walking around on the streets and downtown with a you know my little thing of candy and i saw the homeless guy and i figured I'm sure he would like some candy. So I said, hey, have anybody given you Halloween candy yet? And he says, no, no, ma'am. And I was like, okay, happy Halloween. Here you go. So you know what? Maybe that guy, it was meant to be, and he needed some Snickers and uh, some good cheer to brighten up his day because candy makes everybody happy. So on to door number three. But I'll be honest, like coming to downtown, um, trying to meet somebody else's is a lot of work so I'll have to think about that when I go to do it you know other times because you could probably hit like four other doors than trying to hit one door in downtown so anyways I'm enjoying it so on to the next one door number three let's see how it goes okay door number three was a grand slam okay this lady was so nice and this one I was really excited about because they've, um, on my records, like when I see everybody that's filing its um, probate, they have filed, they're one of the ones that have filed the most, probably like 20 probates in my area. And couldn't be nicer, could not be nicer. Um, they they loved the candy, they were thought it was so nice of me to stop by. Again, she actually mentioned to me that she actually has a deal right now that she thinks that they will, um, they're gonna, the buyer's gonna walk away. It has, um, this deal that she's working on right now has 22 heirs. I thought my recent crazy case with nine was bad. She said 22, I can't even imagine what that's, what that's like. But um, anyways, it's going very good guys. It's going very good. So let's keep it moving. Number four, let's go. Guys, went amazing. Door number four went amazing. The attorney was not in. They had me speak with the assistant. She said that they do a lot of probates and that actually, and it's funny because I checked my notes again. I looked at the call. I had called this probate attorney. He said that he would keep my information on file, but he said that he didn't really do that many probates. Um, but then his assistant told me that she says that they do a lot of probates. So I don't know. Uh, but anyway, she says that she was excited to get her information because clients always ask them, do you have a realtor? Do you have somebody that you recommend so we can sell the property? And they, she says that they didn't. They don't have somebody to recommend. So she loved the flyer. She loved the candy. And, um, you know, I've been pointing all of them to go look at the testimonial video that we did, how we increased somebody's inheritance by 200000 So they're really excited. So I, it's going way better than I anticipated. I'm gonna be honest, like I can't even believe how good it's going. So I'm excited, people are getting to know Absolute Top Dollar, they're getting to know the services that we offer in the community. I'm really thinking to myself, why haven't I done this a long time ago? So I hope this is encouraging and now you guys see me do it and it's like, this is really no big deal. I don't know if anybody else has kind of procrastinated over the thought process of walking into attorney's offices and introducing herself, but this girl has, okay? I'd rather pound the phones and be a cold calling than walking into an attorney's office. How stupid is that, okay? But I'm doing it. I'm getting out of my comfort zone. And you know what, guys? It's not bad at all. It's, it's going very well. People have been very nice. Nobody has cursed me out. Nobody has, like, yelled or said anything negative thus far. Okay, so we're going to now door number five. Let's see if our uh, lucky streak continues. See you on the next one. Okay guys, door number five completed. Amazing lady. I mean, the attorneys just come right out. They speak with me in the lobby. I have a chance to explain to them what I do. They tell me a little bit about their business. We have a great conversation and we agree to keep in touch. Um, I'm loving this, guys. I am really, really loving this. And, you know, it doesn't look like there's a lot of competition or there's anybody else doing this. 
um, which is a really awesome thing. So I think I'm making a lot of good connections today. Let's go, door number six, let's go. Okay, door number six, done. <laughs> So this was an office building. I had to go up into the elevator. Super fancy, super nice office, by the way. Um, this one is funny because I actually had called this probate attorney and they did take my call and I did actually get to speak to them. And then we became friends on Instagram. So it's kind of cool. So we see each other's posts and stuff like that. So that was pretty neat. And so when I, the door, the office door, like the receptionist area was locked, so I knock on the door and then the lady buzzed me in. And right in that moment, <laughs> when the lady buzzed me in, the attorney is like crossing the hallway, like inside the office. And so I was like, oh, so-and-so, you know? And he's like, you know, like, who are you? And I was like, oh, we're friends on Instagram. I recognized you. I was like, remember me, I'm the realtor, whatever. So anyways, it was funny. The timing was unbelievable because literally right as I walked in, he was like walking across the hallway, so it was pretty cool. But he appreciated the visit, he appreciated the candy, and he definitely um, is interested in, in doing business with me. So here we go again. Okay, I may stop at seven because the time that it's getting, I still have to pick up my daughter from daycare. Um, I don't know, let's see. But on to door number seven for sure. For sure we're going to number seven. That's a, that's a magic number. But um, let's see, door number seven, here we come. Okay guys, so I went to um, door number seven and it was a completely wrong address. It was like the address to the mall. And then I went to technically door number eight and lights out. There's no cars in the parking lot. I knocked on the door, door is locked. So it is 4.40 on a Friday. So I'm pretty sure attorneys are hightailing it out of here. Um, so I am going to give it a quit, okay? But the good news is we successfully networked with, how many? Six attorneys. We made contact with six attorneys. All six of them had great relationships. Um, every After I met each one, and even this one that I'm at right now that I wasn't able to get in, they had a little slip thing where I could like put something in. So I put my flyer in and I actually left them the candy thing at the door. It is like a shaded area and it's kind of like a little nook. So, you know, maybe it'll be okay. But, um, and I sent her an email. So after every single person, that I visited, I sent them an email. Thank you so much. It was so nice meeting you like in the parking lot. So they got it like right away. And um, I got one reply back saying, thank you so much for stopping by and introducing yourself in person. That was amazing. And I love the candy. It was so thoughtful. Thank you. So overall guys, I am blown away with the results. I'm so happy. And you know, it was really nice like talking with other professionals in the probate space and really talking with them on a level where we're not engaging like on a transaction, but just as two professionals talking about probate, my side, their side, and how we can benefit each other. So I'm really looking forward to doing this more often. Um, next week, I think I'm actually gonna do it two times. Um, we'll see how it goes, but you know, you do need, so I did seven doors or, you know, technically I did eight doors, three of them. Wait a minute, how many doors did I do? Hold on a second. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I did eight doors and out of those eight, three of them didn't work out. Remember the guy <laughs> that I, went all the way upstairs, I snuck in the building, I had to go secret operation and downtown and I had to pay for parking and I had to do this whole thing, which that was not cool. Um, and I didn't even get to see the attorney. So, and then the last two were no-goes. So, in it, and I started at, um, I started about one o'clock. So it took me, it took me five hours, so it's 4.45 now, so from like one to 4.45. So, you know, this could all get better, because you could, because I didn't really like 
pick places that were all close to each other. I'm just kind of like going down a list. So I think you can make this process better, make it quicker, make it more efficient. But bottom line is it works. People are getting to know me. I'm building my, my network. I'm building relationships. So I'm definitely, definitely going to be doing this again. And thank you for joining me. I hope you learned something on this. And um, we are going to build our probate uh, relationships with attorneys and close more deals together. So have a blessed weekend, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know. Drop some comments. Do you door knock? Have you gone to probate attorneys? What's your reaction been? Let me know. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you on the next one.